Hey everybody, here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. First up is Mastika Greek water. This is sparkling water that's infused with Mastika. Next up is Susosu water. This is Japanese water that's infused with hydrogen. And this is in a weird aluminum pouch. So what these two both have in common is these are both from salaciousdrinks.com. These are both pretty small waters. Uh, this is 300 milliliters, this is 330 milliliters. They're both pretty small, and they're both infused with stuff. This is infused with hydrogen, this is infused with mastica. Uh, I'm not really sure what mastica is, or if I'm pronouncing that right, but uh, apparently this says that it's inspired by a traditional recipe with added refreshment sparkle. Mastika is a blend of pure spring water and natural mastika, a unique ingredient found only in the beautiful Greek island of Chios, traditionally used to soothe digestion. This was $4 per bottle from Salacious Drinks. This Japanese water is very similar to a different pouch water I reviewed in uh, about... 2017 I reviewed a water called H2 hydrogen water and it looked almost identical to this like same type of material same weird lid thing and it's had the same claims about hydrogen um, so apparently infusing water with extra I mean water is hydrogen H2O it's hydrogen and oxygen so it already water already has hydrogen in it but this is water that's infused with extra hydrogen. And um, that other water I drank in 2017 had the same claims. It said that it has extra hydrogen because it will induce, uh, boost your endurance and it will um, remove lactic acid from your muscles after like a heavy workout. So this is like targeted towards, I guess, big athletes and uh, people who work out a lot, I guess. Apparently this is popular in Japan. All the writing on it is in Japanese and some YouTube video says that infusing water with hydrogen is popular in Japan. I don't really know. And so they also say that the aluminum pouch keeps the water colder for longer. And it actually feels kind of cold. So, okay. I don't really have much else to say about it. I'm going to do the pH test and then I'll do a taste test. Because I have like a, such a limited amount, I'm just going to do the pH test right away. Let me show you opening it first, just so you can see the bubbles. Well, there's actually like a smell, like a weird smell. Like it smells like a tree or something, like an oak tree. No, no. It smells like bamboo. But yeah, but I mean, I got like a big whiff of that just opening it. But, um, okay, I'm going to do the pH test. Here we go. All right, here's the results of the pH test. The Susosu on the left and Mastika on the right. I'm colorblind, so you guys look at the chart and compare for yourself which color you think they are. All right, I just did the pH test. I didn't get this on camera, but when I poured the Mastika into a cup, there was, like, a ton of bubbles. I just want to do it again in a cup. It's not very, very bubbly for such a small amount of water. Like, it's, it's a lot of bubbles for carbonated water. Uh, an Amazon review of this says that it tastes like pine dirt. They said it's a pine dirt type of taste. That's pretty accurate. It's a pine pine dirt. Like, it's, it's pretty strong, actually. I, I've never heard of Mystica before this review. But that's, that's very accurate. It's like a pine dirt taste. That's weird. I don't, I don't really like it. Here's the hydrogen water. The aluminum pouch water. Oh, this is like an unfair review because I... I'm tasting pine dirt still. But I know it's just from this being left in my mouth. I should have done this one first. I'm not picking up any taste of aluminum, which is a good thing. You know, when, generally when I do metal 
bottles of water and containers of water pick up a metal taste sometimes. Sucks my tongue. It sucks in my tongue. <laughs> I mean, you gotta drink this one with this sucks in my tongue. And that came off. Um, yeah, this was really small. It was a really small amount of water. Um, it was fine. It was pretty average. Yeah, I should have really done this one first to make sure I don't contaminate my mouth with the uh, pine dirt taste of this one. This one was $3 from salaciousdrinks.com. And I need to burp. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is very, very carbonated. Like for such a small bottle, there's a lot of carbonation slammed in there. It's kind of a nice bottle. Pretty small. They have their own um, label, like their logo engraved into the bottle. So it's not just a generic bottle. Do any of you viewers live in Greece? Have you ever tried this? What do you think about it? I don't really have anything else to say about it. Neither of these have any other reviews that I saw. Like These guys have a YouTube channel, but nobody else has reviewed either of these that I've seen. Some guy on YouTube talked about that other H2O hydrogen water that I reviewed earlier, and he was like kind of calling it junk science because there's already hydrogen in water. And I don't really know, I'm not a scientist, but I mean, he's just one random dude and he didn't seem like an authority on it. it seemed like a random guy. Hey, I'm going to open this up and take a look at the inside. Yeah, they say that hydrogen can go through the plastic bottles and glass bottles. So they make sure they use an aluminum one. There's the inside of it. They say it's extra thick. aluminum but if this was really extra thick wouldn't it be solid would it really like be this flimsy if it was really quote extra thick there you go all right let's finish this up for such a small bottle there's a lot of flavor in there sorry if i'm pronouncing this wrong mystica it's like the X-Men character, Mystique. Okay, I'm going to say the winner is this one, this hydrogen water. But it's really just my own personal preference. I prefer still waters over sparkling waters. And this has less flavor, so it's just more of a watery water. And um, both of these have no calories, no carbs, no um, fat. Like They're all zero for everything. But this one doesn't have the the weird flavor and the sparkling. I mean, look, if you're in a Greek restaurant and you see this, go ahead and get a bottle. Just try it out. Like, it's it's a unique flavor you've probably never experienced before. But as far as me, like, if I had to pick one to drink every day for the rest of my life, I would go with this. It's just this... I, I wouldn't want to drink this, like, every day. It's, it's a neat... Uh, neat, unique experience to do once, but I would rather do this day to day. Okay. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.